one. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here. Welcome to the Kingdom Crossroads podcast today. So blessed that you're joining us. You know, there's so many people hurting in this world right now, hurting in different ways, but mainly hurting in their hearts. And that affects everything else in their life. You know, not we're not talking about heartaches or heartburn, but actual hurting spiritual hearts, the real you that's down inside, pain that is deep rooted and, and affects people each and every day. What can be done for folks that are hurting like this? Well, that's where our guest Cindy Bartelli comes in. Cindy's back again today. She's been on before. You can listen to all our previous interviews in our archives. She's the author of a great book, The Heart Healer, God's Response to Personal Prayer in a Hurting World, and her study guide, The Heart Healer Study Guide. Amen. But today, she's back for part seven. Uh, I'm sorry, part six of a seven-part series. We're doing a bonus episode, part seven. And she has this very important work of bringing healing to hurting people's hearts. And many people listening to us right now are in that category and will benefit from hearing real life examples that Cindy's doing and bringing heart healing to people in their daily walk. Amen. Cindy's here to minister to you with some examples of people who are in situations that may be similar to yours, maybe not exactly the same, but similar, but all of them are examples of real people who had real hurts and God healed it. Help me welcome back to the program, Cindy Bartelli. Cindy, thank you for agreeing to come back on and, and minister to, to those again today who are hurting deep down in their heart. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me here. I always love to speak with you. Amen. For those who may not have listened to our prior interviews, can you briefly share with us who is Cindy Bertelli? Well, yes, I'm, of course, number one, a Christian, a believer, and uh, married, and my husband and my children, grandchildren are all very important to me. And at the same time, I have this calling from God to share a message about his love for each person and for his ability to heal the broken places in their hearts. Amen. Amen. And, you know, today, uh, you know, we're, well, before we get into the, the person we're talking about today, let's talk about a basic introduction of your book, The Heart Healer. What's that all about? Well, The Heart Healer was written with, um, not with the intention to teach or to advise, but instead to share stories, true stories of times when the Lord stepped into a person's life in a, a very meaningful, personal way and healed the broken places in their hearts. I use true stories backed by scripture. And the purpose then is to connect the hearts of the people to the heart of God. Amen. Amen. And it's a great book, folks. It really is. Now, today we're going to be talking about a little girl named uh, Stephanie, correct? Yes, this is actually an adult. Uh, I know the last we talked about child last time. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, the last time we We talked about destiny, destiny last time. That's right. Yeah, this time we're talking about Stephanie. Yeah, this is Stephanie who was wounded as a little girl. (laughs) Ah, okay. We we can go back with that. Uh, but yes, yeah, Stephanie has a very important story to tell. And, and you know, Pastor, I've prayed uh, through prayer ministries many, many, many years. And her story is unfortunately not that unique mm. because she struggled as a child with the fact that her father had left the family. And she dealt with rejection and feelings of abandonment. Because of that, her mother was a committed Christian, loved the Lord, and she single-handedly took care of all six children Mm. in this family. And so the stories that those six children can tell are extensive. And so many of the things that happened to them were influenced by the fact that they were hurt, Mm. that they had been rejected and abandoned. So Stephanie began connecting with me because she had seen change in her sister who had been attending one of our online classes. And uh, for the record, what I do every summer is I take people online through the heart healer. 
series and we go through the whole thing so people from anywhere in the world can sign up for this class the best way to know about it is to go to my website can i go ahead and just give yeah, the website yep, if absolutely. they go to my website um it's theharthealer.org slash hello and there they can register for my mailing list and then they'll know what's going on. But every summer, I personally lead people through the Heart Healer series. And um, we have small groups sometimes, large groups. It doesn't matter. I just know whoever's there, God sent for some reason. Amen. And in this particular story, Stephanie joined us the second time I took a group through the summer series. Mm. And again, the reason she was there was because she saw change in her sister. Amen. Amen. She said, I, my sister was more talkative than I ever known her before. She laughed. She smiled. These were things that were unfamiliar to them. And so she wanted what her sister had and signed up for the class. Amen. Amen. So I asked her one day, when you started the class with us, how did you feel about yourself? And she said, honestly, it was just this void. I I had no sensitivity to my feelings at all. And this happens a lot with people who are deeply wounded because they sort of build this um, emotional wall around their houses, excuse me, around their hearts. And as they build this wall around their hearts, they do it to protect themselves. It's kind of like putting a fortress up. Yep. And when they do that, they don't allow themselves to feel. And it's all to protect themselves from being hurt anymore. So she didn't feel anything. She just felt this void. And she would hear people talk about scripture and about God. And she'd hear testimonies. And that was all great. But it kind of didn't register with her because she couldn't believe that God would heal her. And he could heal everyone else, but she didn't think he would her because she was walking in a life of rejection and abandonment. But then when she saw these changes in her sister, she was like, okay, wait, I want some of that. <laughs> yeah, amen, amen. And that happens a lot. I mean, I even hear testimonies of like, I want what you have, or I want what he has, you know, and yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Right. That is so true. So sure enough, she signed up and, you know, it didn't take long. And her sister, in fact, was in the same group again. She she wanted to come back for more. <laughs> and so both, both the girls were in the class, um, the online class with us. What she told me is that each Tuesday night when we had these classes, we would sign off at the end and then they would call each other. And they would talk about their memories from the past and pray, pray together and cry and heal. She said, the thing is you have to be vulnerable. You have to, in her case, you know, she's bringing that wall down that yeah. she built around her heart and she's allowing God in, you know, and her sister sort of carried the baton from the class into their phone conversations afterwards. And they would, talk about this and cry and cry and cry and she said but the crying was a good crying it was letting it all out it was letting amen. god in and amen. asking him to heal these memories amen that's good amen yeah that's yeah good. amen so have you important. followed up with stephanie since then yes i have in fact and um it's so amazing she said that now whenever anything comes to mind that wounded her she just stops and prays mm -hmm. for heart healing God. and progressively she just gets more and more healing and more restoration in her heart and she you know i asked her was there a part of the book that really meant a lot to you that really spoke to you and she said well chapter three and honestly i hear this quite often uh, chapter three is about being uh, hobbled it's called hobbled and it, hobbling in a rancher's farmer's perspective is you know holding horses back you know tying their feet so they don't it's not a cruel thing it's to teach them about what's safe and what's not in their movement and where to go and how to do it well the point is in all of this in this chapter is sometimes we can be hobbled in a negative way 
by what has hurt us in the past. We can be held down, tied down, and not able to move forward. And so she said, as she read that chapter, it said so much to her because she recognized the truth in that for her, because she had been sort of, um, well, I, in a session we had before I talked about being stunted emotionally, and that's what had happened to her. She wasn't moving forward in life. She wasn't living life to the fullest. She wasn't feeling like she was walking in her destiny with God. And this changed everything. In fact, she hadn't even let God into her life fully until this moment. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it sounds from something you just said that now she's able to minister this to others as well, because when, you know, you're going through life and something happens and you stop and pray and effectively stop that attack, you're in a position now where you can share that with other people. And now it just snowballs from there. Well, that is so true, Pastor, because that's exactly what she was telling me in our last conversation. Amen. She's starting a study group herself at her church with the Heart Healer. They're going to go through the series together. Amen. Yes. God. And uh, she's also going through the Heart Healer with a neighbor privately. And she's also going through the Heart Healer with a brother who lives in Chicago and he ministers to men in prison in mm -hmm. who are incarcerated. And so there is, you know, all this opportunity for people's hearts to be healed exponentially. Amen. Amen. I, I, <laughs> I sense that because like I said, when you, when I just know from experience, personal experience, as well as, you know, witnessing and others that when they are able to come to that spot where they recognize that attack and they put a stop to it right yes. there, you know, that's where you are now able to share how it's done with other people because you got a grasp on it now. That's why, you know, when it comes to praying for healing and stuff like that, you can't tell me it doesn't work. It, you're, you're way too late to the ball game for that. <laughs> you know, I know, you know, and, and my wife laughs because she'll say something like, you know, when she, I got, I'm getting a headache, come pray for me, you know, and, then, you know, and she just says, every time you pray, it's gone, you know. Wow. I mean, that's, but, you know, I have walked in that, you know, and I know, you know, the, well, the Bible says that God will hear your prayers and his answer is always yes and amen. I mean, mm -hmm. he doesn't lie. <laughs> you know? amen. And amen. the heart healing works the same way. When you turn it over to yeah. Jesus, Mm -hmm. that's what he, he said give your cares unto me be careful for nothing the bible says mm -hmm. and don't amen. have a care in the world to roll it all over on him amen amen that is amen. so true and one of the things we learned is uh we recognized as the years went by that it doesn't matter whether our heart wounds just trace back four days or 40 years yeah god always is ready to heal us by restoring yeah. the brokenness within us Amen. 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 That is so true. And I know there's somebody listening to us right now that may be in the same or a uh, very similar situation as Stephanie or any of the others that we talked about. And I definitely know there's someone listening to us right now that needs heart healing, especially mm -hmm. at this time of year. And mm -hmm. would you pray with and for them right now and help to bring heart healing to them just like you have for the others we've talked about? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's pray. Lord, I just pray for the people listening right now. And as thoughts have come to their minds about wounds they've had in their past, I pray that you go to each of those memories that has hurt them, that has held them back from all that you would have for them. We pray for you to heal each wound that has come to mind. We pray that you take away the pain and replace that pain with your peace. And Lord, as they embrace the peace that you're bringing to them right now, we ask that you would begin moving them forward in their destiny in a way that they're not held back anymore. They're not restricted by what they believed to be true about themselves and the, the error of the pain instead of the truth of the healing. Let that prevail and let them move forward, Lord, in all that you have for them. Open doors of opportunity. 
in relationships, in emotional growth and healing, and also, Lord, for the kingdom. We believe, Lord, for your healing, and we ask that not only do you heal their hearts and their emotions, Lord God, but heal their minds, and Lord, also any infirmity connected to the wounds that they've had in the past. We just pray for breakthrough, and we pray that you help them sense how real your love for them is this very day. As yes. we end this prayer, Lord God, we pray for a, uh, just a washing of the peace of your Holy Spirit over them. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for this amazing personal miracle for each listener today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, before we go, I want you to share about your ministry, Vertical Hearts, and how this ministry is helping you to spread the message of God's extraordinary love and ability to heal the broken places in people's hearts. Can you share a little bit with us? Well, yes. Uh, when when I first wrote the book, I was like, oh, I, I hope even just one person is blessed by this. And as it turns out, God had a bigger plan than that. And we're just so excited to be able to say that people from around the U.S. have read the book and have been so ministered to and drawn so close to God, but also a, a missionary inspired us to translate the materials we have to Spanish. And for that reason, uh, people in several countries in Latin America, now including Cuba and soon Nicaragua, have been able to read The Heart Healer and go through the Amen. studies also. Amen. 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 So Vertical Hearts helps make all that happen. We get books in the hands of people. We even give them scholarships to go through study groups with us. So any amount, any gift that we can receive that will help us move forward in vertical hearts and with this special message is greatly appreciated. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And, and if someone wanted to purchase your book, The Heart Healer, God's Response to Personal Prayer in a Hurting World, how can they do that? I take it it's on Amazon, correct? It is on Amazon, any of the major websites. And um, so the heart healer is the name of it. There's a study guide that goes with it if they want to purchase that as well. On our website, we have an online course too that people can take with videos that introduce each chapter. So we just invite people to check out the website and see what all we have there. They can go to the website we mentioned earlier, the heart healer dot org slash flow and they'll learn a lot about what we do amen amen i appreciate you sharing that and i also appreciate you coming on sharing all about stephanie today as well amen praise god and i'll be putting links to all this information down in the show notes also folks i shared in the beginning people are hurting out there it may be you maybe someone close to you maybe someone you work with or, but i can almost guarantee that you know someone who is suffering from a, a, a deep rooted heartache that needs to be healed. Cindy's book, The Heart Healer, is a great first step. Just drop down the show notes, click the links right there, get in touch with Cindy, and be sure to order this book, The Heart Healer, right now. Amen. Don't wait. Get it into your hands today. God has you listening to this program right now for a reason, and you don't know how you will affect someone else if you have this book available in your hands. It might be, you know, Two days after you get it and read it, it may be a month from now or six months from now, but someone will be crossing your path. God has this planned out from the beginning. Someone will cross your path and you can say, I got just the book you need to read and you'll have it. But you won't have it if you don't drop down in the show notes right now and click the link right there. Cindy, thank you for coming back on the program and joining us today. And do you know who we'll be discussing next time that when we come in for episode number seven on this bonus uh, episode? You know, I would love to talk about a topic that includes some stories next time regarding PTSD mm. and first responders, if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Yeah, as a first responder, I definitely want to hear that one. Amen. Amen. So we'll be talking about that next time when we talk about- I really look healing. forward to that. Oh, yes. Hearts. Amen. Amen. Folks, that's all the time we have for today. For Cindy Bartelli, myself, this is Pastor Bob reminding you to be blessed in all that you do.